Um, hi, I'm Teresa from War Paint, and some strange man has taken me to the edges of Laneway. I don't know what they're gonna do to me. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> so, um, Emily, I, I had known Emily for a really long time, uh, since I was like 11 years old and we moved to Los Angeles together. We did a lot of traveling together after we graduated high school and then, um, in Los Angeles we met Jen and, and Sh her, her sister Shannon and we all, after a while, realized that we'd been playing music independently of each other, kind of, and we were like, well, why, why don't we get together and start a band? It sounds like the best thing in the world, because we all liked each other uh, and got along real well, and then we actually did play together for the first time on Valentine's Day in 2004, and, at, and that night we just, like, <clears throat> it was so easy for us to communicate that way through our instruments and we all kind of have the same approach to music which is like kind of unorthodox I think none of us are, are going like all right let's play from in this key and then move to its relative minor through these chords or whatever and like it's it's just really a, it's a it's an intuitive feeling based approach to music and Shannon's not in the band anymore but um but, and now we have Stella. Stella feels like it did the first time we played with Shannon. Like the first time we played with Stella, it was like, wow, this is, this is a perfect match. We, we totally get each other. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it's not like I don't know, understand how to read music or music, I, don't, I understand music theory to some extent and like all of us do, we all, I think even practice scales and, and you know just like do that kind of stuff every now and then and also started off doing more of it but at the same time um, I I don't know I got really disillusioned when I was younger and at first I was really impressed by all these people mostly guys who would talk to me about music and like show off all that they knew about um, about music theory, scales, um, like modes, just whatever the fuck, or like, um, <clears throat> uh, and also musicians and gear and, you know, what kind of pedals that blah blah was playing through and what kind of amp and what kind of guitar, what kind of pickups and all this stuff. And I was like, oh my God, you must be really good. Like, I can't wait to play with you. And then we'd go in a room and play together and they would just be playing the most boring music and stuck in these like ways of playing the drums or playing the guitar that were just so old that just had been done so many times before that it didn't even it just felt completely sterile to me and I just I at that moment just completely denounced the idea of knowing anything about anything except for the few bands that I really like to listen to that really moved me and like <clears throat> now I feel differently because I feel like I know myself and I know why I didn't want to know anything about anything, kind of, as far as music goes. So now I'm getting really into into like understanding what's come before. and But I feel like it's because I know that my approach isn't going to be tainted by that. It's only going to grow from that at this point. Right. Well, if you know anything about Tarot, that's like kind of the best way to reference the Fool. Um, the tarot deck has a, it's like full of archetypes. That's kind of the, the point of it. It's like we're all, all of us are filled with archetypes of people, and some are some types are stronger in you than others. Blah blah blah. And in the fool, <coughs> or in the tarot, the fool is. Uh, sorry, I just woke up basically, so I still have my um, morning voice. <clears throat> um, the archetype of the fool is is zero, and it means basically it's like you're a child. It's like you have no pretense, and you have no walls, and you have no guard. And sometimes you can be considered a fool in that regard because somebody could maybe take advantage of you. But kind of also, you always have this like lucky star on your side too. If 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 you are in a sense like not trying, not aware of those games that we play in society to 
to, to win and to guard and to block and to take advantage and to, to be powerful. Like it's it's just an egoless state and it's a state in which like you know, you can fall down and make a mistake and um, you're not like you're not even you're okay with that. And we all do that, but like I think there's there's just like, you know, society makes these this like grid that we feel like we have to fit into and like if you go out of those little boxes then you're like potentially uncool or you're a bad person or and I'm not saying you shouldn't have any morals and like you go off and on a killing spree I think that's really awful but <laughs> <laughs> um, I just it's just about being really open and innocent and, but new, maybe not naive, just sort of making it. And just to be extremely clear, I do not endorse killing sprees. Um, I think also that that kind of approach of just like stripping down and getting to the pure emotion of, of everything, I think that's even where we're gonna go and take our music further. Or, if that makes sense, I don't know if that sentence makes sense. But we're gonna, uh, we really appreciate that approach and it's like, we were all so excited to be playing and writing and playing songs and stuff that I think a lot of bands encounter this like when they're younger. Everyone wants to be playing all the time because it's just so fun to be playing, you know? And then sometimes that doesn't serve the song that me and Emily are both playing guitar parts at the same time. You know, like sometimes it would serve the song if I play like six notes the entire song. I don't know, you just like things like that are getting more into the idea of space within our music and just sort of like um i don't we're definitely not going to get busier and i don't think we're going to get more orthodox i just think that we're going to get like just probably more simplified just to please our our senses more like we just all feel that but, um, but yeah, like I said, it doesn't mean that our songs aren't going to go to unpredictable places or anything. It just might be more simple. Okay. Hi, I mean, bye. <laughs> um, I'm Teresa from War Paint, and this is Cheese on Toast, and I really want some cheese on toast, actually. I'm really hungry. Where can I get some cheese on toast?